good morning and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Boy, does it feel great to be back on the bike again. Even though I'm in Vancouver, it's cold, rush hour traffic, and it looks like it's gonna rain. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a little story about why Harley Davidson is starting to lose my business. In the last few years, the amount of money I've been spending on Harley is dropping, and I'll tell you why. Okay, let's get into the video. sunshine <laughs> wouldn't you know it and I'm off to go into Vancouver and no I'm not going to work works a four-letter word today I'm getting the bike service now that we're back it's time to freshen it up and get ready for a summer riding So I'm going to tell you about what I mean about why Harley's starting to lose my business. And this has been slowly happening over the last couple of years. Now I've always been faithful to the brand for Harley Davidson. I love these bikes. Matter of fact, this Road Glide I got, I absolutely love it. It's the, probably the best bike I've ever owned for dependability. Compared to the other bikes I've had, I just love it. Now we used to own four Harley Davidsons at once at one point, and now we've sold off three of them. I'm down just to one bike. Now for the discontent. <laughs> Why is Harley Davidson starting to lose my business? The one main factor is, I just find the cost these days unreasonable. Now Harley-Davidson is a massive company, and they actually produce large profits. Even though they had that live wire that was just a boat anchor. But every year the price has been jumping up dramatically. And I noticed the sticker price on bikes this year is, blows my mind. And I don't know, I heard somewhere that they went through an 8% price increase or something. Anyhow, what they're doing the, right now is they're pricing me out of the market. Now I've had this bike since 2016. And I'm over 100,000 kilometers on it. And I just renewed for another five years and I just renewed for another five years of warranty because I can't afford a new bike. I'm gonna ride this thing out as long as I can. And I used to buy a bike probably every three years. And so I'm out of that circuit now of constantly buying one. And I will be buying another bike because this bike won't last forever before I retire from riding. But will I go into another Harley Davidson? Well, if they keep raising the prices, I'm already priced out of the market. So I probably won't be going back for another one. So that's one reason. Reason number two why I've been spending less and less every year. And this is just an example. Look at the price of Harley-Davidson t-shirts. <laughs> now I used to collect a lot of them. I got boxes and boxes of them. I got so many of them I just can't wear them all. 
because I used to love collecting them from everywhere we traveled to. So in 2022, when we did the big trip across Canada, went into the States, we were gone for seven months. I only bought two shirts. At the price of those shirts, I just refused to, to pay $60 for a t-shirt. When they were 20 and $25, no problem. I bought them all over the place. And now we just finished Australia. And I only bought two t-shirts down there also. One because I really wanted it, and the other one because it was on sale. <laughs> so they've been losing a lot of revenue from me because I used to buy a lot of Harley Davidson merchandise. And nowadays I'm not buying any of it. It's just too much money. I call it the Club Harley price. You gotta pay, it seems like a 20% uplift just to have their name on it and the last thing is and I don't really want to complain about it too much what I used to love about Harley Davidson was the service and maybe I was spoiled with the dealership that I used to live beside gasoline alley Harley and Red Deer unbelievable second to none for service they're just fantastic and now we're out here in Vancouver, and I'm not saying that they're not good out here, but there's only two dealerships for about four million people. So when I got home, I tried to get an oil change. I tried to book an oil change in. I can't get an oil change done until the third week of July, and we got home in the first week of June. Seven weeks to wait for an oil change. And I can't do a change on my own because we live in an apartment now and there's no place to work on it. Anyhow, today Trev Dealey squeezed me in, so I'm going to get it done. Now, I don't think the service is 100% Harley's fault. Well, maybe corporate Harley because they've been shutting down so many dealerships. And if you want to keep your bike under warranty, you got to work with them, right? So now the dealerships that are left open, they're overloaded in the service department. Anyhow, I still think the service is good. I think the problem is a lack of places to go. I've been a HOG member for a long time. Matter of fact, I got a life membership for HOG and that's really helped me out on the highway. When we're traveling on the road and we've had a few minor issues, they fix it right away. They take a bike off the bench to fix mine while I'm going. That's all to do the hog program. I love that part of it. Anyhow, I'm not gonna ramble on forever here. What do you guys think? What do you think about all this stuff about Harley pricing these days or are they losing your loyalty, or is it just as good as it ever was? <coughs> I'd like to see what you say about that. Thanks for riding along. There's my first moto vlog of the year. Looking forward to putting on a lot of miles on the bike this summer. I kind of went through withdrawal going through Australia. Okay, take care, ride safe, we'll see you on the next video.